Okay, I just wanted to uh, show you an, another reason why I like my little tap handles that I uh, made for aligning up my taps. And they come in really handy on a lathe. If uh, you go ahead and you, you know, place it loosely in the chuck. I'm trying to do this one-handed and hold in the camera here. And uh, so you can still, so it can still turn. And I put a little Molly D on it, like I normally do. And I slide it up. This is a 440 tap, and basically, I'm going to power tap with it, and it works just dandy uh, uh, power tapping. So. I can set the camera up here so I can get both hands free. Okay. So what I do is I just grab a hold of it and, and hold on to it. Lightly hold on to it. You don't have to hold it on onto it tight. Because what you're going to do is you're going to power tap in and you're just going to let it slip in your fingers if, uh, you know, it, when you reach the bottom of the hole. Like that. So now all you need to do is reverse it. And you're done. I mean, it works so slick for a power tap. And I've gone down to uh, uh, 348s, I think, are the smallest that I've done it this way. And uh, I probably could get by doing it on 256s too, but at a slower RPM. I, I'm running it at, uh, <laughs> that was at uh, uh, 1400 RPM. And basically, I just hit the inching on my on my lathe which is basically a, a momentary turn on for the spindle you know you can <coughs> like that but and then reverse it when I back it out but but these little gems I mean they they work pretty darn good for uh, power tapping uh, on the on the lathe like that you can you know hold on to it and Put as much pressure as you want to on it, and, and but yet still let it slide through your fingers. You know, with a tap panel, you're not going to be able to do that. So, anyway, just just a little heads up.